Hi everyone, this is Aaron Kahn with VentureActiveHealingAndWellness.com. I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm feeling real good. Got a new hat today I'm really smart and really happy about. It's from one of my Navy SEAL buddies who gave me a new hat. It's actually about a SEAL Team Platoon. Just a little bit of information, every SEAL Team Platoon actually has an insignia and a symbol that they use for their platoon. It's just something I write of honor that they all use for. It's pretty cool. So I'm happy to support this new hat today. It's giving me good energy, making me feel good to see my friend too, which is really nice. Uh, anyways, so today what we're going to work on today is going to be our neck and shoulders, this upper area in our body, really important for all sports and athletes. We're working on making sure that we have strength in those areas and also that we strengthen those weak stabilizer muscles in those areas as well. Um, it's very important and especially in all aspects of life and especially in sports, boxing, fighting, just really anything, uh, to have a good strong neck. Also neck flexibility is very important. Uh, what it does too is it enables you to keep good mobility but also help you from preventing injuries. Um, but these muscles are also some of the smallest and most uh, sensitive muscles in your body. Uh, they're easy to strain and hurt. So it's very important that anything that we're doing today, you cut your numbers down if you're feeling any discomfort. If you have any pain or have any past injuries, uh, like myself, I played football for about nine years as a kid. And so I was constantly ramming my head into things and my neck, my neck was always thusly gave me issues. Um, and in turn, I also train jiu-jitsu, so I always wake up with a little bit of a sore neck, but I do a lot of these actually exercises to warm my neck up to get them ready for jiu-jitsu to make sure that I'm, I'm preventing injury or preventing any heat, uh, heat uh, injury that may occur while I'm training. Okay, with that being said, uh, we'll start with our standard warm-up, our stretches. We just do everything kind of the same way. We just see it, keep in our same process. Uh, but today I'm going to show you a couple different exercises that probably might be new to you. Uh, very simple, very easy to do. So all you're going to need is a couple dumbbells that weigh the same weight. And I'd go very light. I'm actually using 10 pound bells myself. I'd recommend either 5, 8, or 10 pound bells. And I would also recommend that uh, um, if any of these numbers like hurt you or it's too strenuous for you to cut your numbers in half. That's what I'm saying is I'm going to show you some exercises called yes and no's. And you're basically going to be doing sit-ups like you're saying yes and then no's where you're turning your head side to side. Ideally, you're supposed to do 50 of these, but these can actually strain your neck muscles. So I would be starting beginner and you have a little bit of a weaker neck or you have any neck issues. I just want you to do 20 to 30 of them to start with, okay? And we're gonna start with that. Well, first, we're gonna start with our warm up. Then we're gonna get our neck and shoulder exercises. We're starting with our yes and no's. We're gonna be starting with a headstand, forward and backwards. We're gonna start with uh, three of those 30 seconds each. Um, I'll show you ways you can put your hands out so that way you're not straining your neck, but I want you to work on those stabilizers. We're also going to be doing alternating dumbbell presses for a minute straight and using those same eight, uh, five, eight or 10 pound light weights for you. An alternating dumbbell press where you're going to be pressing like this on each side. And you're going to be shocked how hard it is after a minute it gets to you, okay? And then lastly, we're going to be doing the shoulder matrix. Very light weights as well, but a lot of repetitions here. I want you guys to you know, strengthen all these stabilizers and these core muscles and tendons and stuff like that that actually hold your body in position and hold your proper posture and such like that, okay? So with that being said, uh, we're going to start with our jump, uh, you know, jumping jacks, skip jacks, like we do for a minute each, and then we're going to be doing our our, um, our shadow boxing, and then we're going to be doing our warm up with our stretches as well. All this stuff stays the same. We want to make sure we warm up our body in the proper motion, even though it's the shoulder and neck issues today, or area that we're ma mainly focusing on. So it's nice to warm up the entire body to make sure that we're good and ready to go. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, but guys, and I got this new hat, so I don't want to get it sweaty, so I'm going to take it off. So sorry about the bad hair today, okay? But that's just the way it goes sometimes. So, okay, so we're gonna start with some jumping jacks and then we're gonna do some skip jacks here. Pardon me while I move this out of the way. In my way, then we're gonna start here. Perfect, perfect, we're gonna start with some jumping jacks and skip jacks, okay? Here we go, guys. Let's switch it up, some skip jacks here. I like skip jacks, they work your body in a different plane of motion here. Hold up the shoulders nicely.
Make sure you breathe. Pump that body up here. There, about 10 more seconds. Nice. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. There's just some shadow boxing here, right? Two minutes of shadow boxing. Let's go, let's get some work. You don't know how to shadow box, that's fine. Just improvise. I don't expect everyone to be a professional fighter like Floyd Mayweather or John Jones or whoever you like. I think everyone just have to throw some punches, throw some kicks, maybe some few knees, bring them up, roll up those hip flexors, kicks. I always start low with everything, and then work my way up higher as the muscles get kind of warmed up and more activated. seconds more. Finish this round out. Just the warm up. fine grab one feeling good all right shake it out I shake it out shake it out shake all the stress away shake all the bad juju shake all the bad vibes good energy good times good feeling good right hey we start with that stretch just like we do and bring our knee up to our chest very slowly here switch sides we're 20 times in total each time you can pull it up a little higher if you like so that way you're Getting that good stretch on your inner growing and your gluteus maximus. Flexor there. Back of the quad here, and we're gonna do some toy soldiers, opposite leg, opposite hand. Keep those legs straight as possible. Start low, work your way up higher. Nice. 
that. Shake it out with a little twist here. Shake it out. And grab that ankle and grab that knee and bring your thigh up here. Make sure you're not twisting that ankle or knee higher and torquing that hip. And make sure everything's even before you pull it up, okay? Reason for that is you can torque the knee and kind of twist your ankle a little bit. You don't want to hurt yourself, so just stretching here. came untied. Happens sometimes. Okay, almost done with the stretching here. We'll do some lunges, right? Got a lunge, twist, chest. Nice. Right. Lunge, twist, chest. Two. Three. Feeling good everywhere in your body. Let's do a little bit of shoulder work here. So we're gonna swing the arms forward 20 times. Nice. And back. 20 times again. Try and go open. Yeah. Hug here. Nice. Okay. Uh, since we're doing our neck today and our shoulders and such like that. Let's do a little bit of a neck roll, okay? Start real slow, okay? Pick a sign and just roll your neck around. I'm gonna do about 10 times one way. And 10 the other way. I like to go back twice. To each side. That way it just cracks everything back out. Now you got your arms and shoulders warmed up. Should be feeling pretty good. Okay. You're going to need a yoga mat today and you're going to need a dumbbell. Okay. Dumbbells, I want the same weight and they can be either between, you know, five, eight, and 10 pounds. They don't have to be heavy at all for us today at all. Okay. To get to get good work in. We don't need any of that. So, we're gonna start with yeses and nos. And ideally, the, the goal is to do three sets of 50 of each of these, okay? Now, I understand if you have any issues or if you've never done this before, I don't need to strain your neck. So it's very, very, very important that you cut your numbers down, okay? I'm gonna be doing 50. I'm gonna show you how to properly do this exercise. Um, so it's pretty basic, basically. You're gonna lay down on the floor, all the way flat here. And then, if you're first time doing this, I want you to do 25 to 30, okay? Each side, we're gonna start with yeses and nos. 
or excuse me, yeses. Yeses are gonna just basically be the front and forward slip up of your neck and your head like this, okay? You're not doing really anything else, you're just gonna be laying on the back here all the way down to making sure that your head's touching the ground and that you're coming all the way up. Nice. Okay, nice. Okay, I just did 50 yeses, right? Now it's coming up next. Once you gotta go one way, you gotta go the other way, right? So we're gonna be doing nose. Nose are a little bit different then. You're not gonna touch, you're gonna basically lift your head out of the ground a little bit, but you're gonna just be turning your head all the way one side, all the way the other. Go slow and controlled. And count each one as one, as one side. So one, two, three, four, and go all the way up to 30 if you can, okay? I'm gonna try 50 again here. So I'm just giving myself a little break. You can rest for between like 30 seconds and a minute to give yourself a little bit of break in your neck. Even though I was feeling those about 25, 30, I'm sure you were as well. So here we go. We're going to do some, some nose here, okay? About 15 seconds. Three, two, one. So we're going to lay down that position again, just like that, flat. Head off the ground, one side. Oh, that's 30, and I need to take a break. I'm not feeling those today. Same, keep an eye on your numbers. Your neck muscles are very stiff because we're doing this two more times. Nice. Okay, we're gonna take a minute break here. Huh? Pause, feel, and rush. Feel your neck muscles now. Feel them out a little bit. That's one, we got two more of these. We're gonna go back to our yeses here. Okay? Oh, I got some good hair today. Give ourselves another 30 seconds here. Now, if you did 30 that time or something, you feel like you can't do that again, just do 20 this time. And then we'll go 10 the last round. We're gonna just chop it down. Okay, just building that strength and endurance in your neck muscles here. Be careful, I mean, I'm already feeling it myself a little bit, so. We'll go back to those yeses here. For high level, let's do 50. No, let's just do half that. Let's just try and do 25 or 30, okay? Three, two, one, let's do some yeses. Give ourselves a little minute here. Go back to those nose here. 
You need to roll your neck out, roll your neck out. Two, one, just in your nose. Ooh, I was thirty. Take a little break here and do twenty more here. Take another minute here. We go to our last round here. So right now you should be feeling pretty good. You should be feeling those muscles a little bit here in your neck, okay? I don't know why. I mean, it's funny, it just seems something so simple as a yes and a no. <laughs> It'd be very difficult. This was actually taught to me by a famous boxing coach and Joe Vargas. He's a local guy here. Really great guy, he's from Tijuana. Really knowledgeable, wonderful, wonderful man. But I asked him one day, I was like, how do I strengthen my neck? He was like, I got some simple exercises for you. Here you go. And he just showed me yes and no's. And I was feeling very much so the next day. So I thought I'd bring it to you guys today when I was asked what neck and shoulder exercises I had for you guys today. Curtis a world-class boxing coach. Shake him out, shake him out. We're going to go back to our last set of yeses here. And then we got our last set of no's here. Okay. About 20 seconds, so take your time. Deep breath. All right, it's our last time doing yeses here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's work. Last time doing those here, okay? Take that minute, relax, I don't even calm down. Nice. You can start doing these once a week again. So I get back to Jiu Jitsu if you're feeling good and strong. In between my exercise, I focus on calming my mind on my body, if I need to recover my heart rate, recover my heart rate. Try to let the stress go, relax. I realize I got one more of these, I'm done with these, yay. Okay. I got about 15 seconds here, we're going back to those no's, and then we're done with the yes to the no's portion of this workout, okay? Then we're gonna do a little handstand, headstand here kind of thing. Three, two, one, let's do some nose.
Nice. I didn't have to rest that time. Perfect. Got that one all the way through. Okay. So we're gonna take a little minute here. Done with the S's and O's portion of it. You should be feeling your neck very much so right here. On the next one, very sensitive various, so we're not gonna work it too much more here, okay? We're just gonna focus on a little bit different stuff right here, which is a head, a front head hand, head stand, okay? Really simple. You're gonna get on all fours right here. But I take your time, still got a little bit of a break here. You're getting on all fours, and you're basically just gonna put your head on the ground here. And I'm on my knees right here, but I'm gonna pick my knees up off the ground. To try and basically just stabilize my weight and neck and my head right here on the body. If you want to make it a little more difficult, you can pick your hands up off the ground. If you want to make it a little more easier and your neck's a little tired from that strain we just did on it before, keep your hands planted here on the ground and right next to your head as you're going up. And this will actually keep you a little more stabilized. So try and focus the top of your head and we're just going to hold that there for 60, or 30 seconds, okay? We're gonna work our way up to 60 eventually, okay? So what I want you to do is go for 60 seconds, or, or excuse me, 30 seconds, working our way up to 60 eventually. And what we're doing here is we're just gonna be holding that handstand, headstand, excuse me, for as long as possible, okay? Excuse me, duh. We're gonna be holding it for 30 seconds, excuse me. And then we're gonna be working up a little bit higher. We're just gonna do that three times, okay? So I'm gonna grab my iPad right over so I can see the little clock I got, because it's a little bit off and I need to grab it and it's hard for me to see. Perfect, so I keep our times good, okay? So we're going to basically get in that handstand position here, and I'm going to count the clock for us for 30 seconds, okay? So here we go. Three, two, one. Now let's get up on that hand and do a handstand. Headstand. After moving in that motion, what we're doing is we're stabilizing and strengthening all that stuff again right here, bringing it all back together here, right? We loosened everything up and worked them out right up and down, side to side. Now we're just working on that front of your head right here. You want to basically kind of make sure the weight is on your hairline, you know, if you feel, or maybe the top of your head, uh, wherever it's just, wherever it's comfortable for you, really. Find a spot for everybody's heads, everybody's heads shaped differently. So, take your time, take your time. Do this again in about, about 10 seconds here, okay? I'm just doing three of these in total. Everything's three today. So three, two, one. Let's get up and work and let's hold. Take your hands away if you can. Raise my hands here, we got two more seconds. Time. Okay, nice. Recover here. Run that scalp out a little bit. I gotta go a little above my hairline, like right here. So I kind of find the happy spot in my head. And we just got one more of these forward, okay? And then we're gonna do one backwards, right? Headstand right here. I keep wanting to say handstand, but it's a headstand. <laughs> okay. Got our last front one here coming up here, okay? Three, two, one, let's work. You can put your hands back here for feeling frisky. 
my last one. I'm going to give it my best shot here. Time. Really nice job, guys. That's our last one forward. Nice. Should be feeling that one pretty good there. And what we're going to be doing here is we're basically going to be bridging on our back. So going on your back and then coming up like a bridge on your head here. And I'm going to show you real quick before we get into our holds here. This is our back holds. And then we're done with balancing on our head and our neck exercise. We're going to move to our shoulder exercises, okay, with the dumbbells and stuff like that. So basically we're flat here. We're going to come all the way up and bridge on your head here. If you need to put your hands back here to post, go right ahead. And then we're gonna bridge and hold like that, okay? We got some time now. That's gonna strengthen that we did the front, and we're doing the back of the neck here. They got side, front, and believe me, this'll do it, okay? Coming up here very shortly, okay? We're gonna wait 20 seconds. And then these are gonna be three holds just like this for 30 seconds if you can. Have the clock here, so three, two, one, let's bridge and hold your head up. Nice. here. I had to hold my hands there the whole time. If you do too, that's fine. Make sure you're just stabilizing and not tweaking your neck. And you don't want to tweak your neck doing this. So when you bridge up, hold your hands up, get your head in a good spot. 30 seconds here before we do it one more time. If you want, I'll, give it, I'll do a side profile this time so you can see it a little better. And I can see the clock over here too. So on the bridge, we got 10 seconds here. I'm gonna move my foam roller. I'll show you how I do it. I like to put my hands like this. Two, one, and then bridge up. I hold my head here. Nice. But you can't take your hands away, that's good. If you can't, that's fine. I really can't right now either. Try and find your happy place, squeeze your glutes together, bridge that hip up and those butt up. Keep holding, keep holding. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Two, one, time. Nice. We just got one more of these holes, okay? And we're done working the neck today. Again, if you can't hold for 30 seconds, just go back down and hold yourself back up. Just do it for 10, 15 seconds if you can, as long as you can. And just remember the time, the next time you do it, try and hold longer. You know, your neck muscles are very sensitive and very delicate, so you wanna be careful not to strain yourself or hurt yourself today. Okay. Three, two, one, let's work. Last one. Nice job, you guys and girls. Nice job. Walk back out. Relax. Stretch the neck a little bit if you need to. Ooh, I'm going to feel that tomorrow. Shake it around. Nice. Now that's it for neck work. Okay? 
No more neck exercises. I'm done doing that today. But what you're gonna need is your dumbbells now. We're still gonna take a little bit of a break. I want light dumbbells today, okay? What we're gonna do with those light dumbbells is you're basically just gonna take them and alternate them for a minute straight, okay? And that's why we're doing light weight because a minute can seem like a very long time like you just thought 30 seconds was a very long time like I did, okay? So it doesn't matter how strong you wanna make, or excuse me, how much heavy, heavy weight you lift to make yourself stronger or have you do more muscle endurance and such like that. You strengthen your stabilizers, all your tendon muscles and such like that. So this is very important that we're doing that, okay? So I'm gonna grab just 10 pounds, okay? Just 10 pound weights. I have eights, I have 15s, I have 20, 25s, I have all kinds. But I'm just grabbing 10s. And what we're gonna be doing is just pressing it 10 times, or excuse me, for a minute straight. Palm tree again, sorry about that. So that way I'm not banging into it when I'm doing this, okay? So I'm gonna start three, two, one. Let's alternate press here. Find a nice rate that you can do for a minute straight. Keep fighting, keep fighting, almost there. Ten seconds, keep working. Time, nice. Okay, we're gonna take a big minute, shake it out. Ah, that minute gets old, doesn't it? Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Recover here. Calm your mind, calm your body. Get your heart rate back to normal. You guys hear me breathing while I'm doing each one of those repetitions? Extremely important not to hold your breath while you're working out. It's extremely important to recover that oxygen deprivation and that you're breathing correctly. Breathing correctly will help slow your heart rate, calm your mind, it will thusly help you work out a lot better and get you more proficient at your workouts. Now, if you notice, I'm only resting 60 seconds. If you want to rest a little longer, rest 90 seconds at the most. Keep an eye on the clock so you keep your heart rate at a certain rate. That'll give you enough time to recover here. And we got 10 seconds here. We're going to do this all over again. So I like to grab my weights, get ready. And this is two of three, so you're almost done. Let's work. Ten seconds, keep working. Time, dice. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. Woo! Oh, feeling those shoulders, feeling those top deltoids, right? That's getting the top of the tra deltoids and the trapezius muscle. Traps the muscle that connects the top of your neck down to your shoulders. But there's actually three of those. There's that's your upper trap, you have your middle trap. And your lower trap, all in your back areas right there, okay? This is working the upper trap. Neck crunches, upper trap, working neck and top of the shoulders today, okay? 30 seconds, our last minute of pressing. You guys were wondering why I was telling you to get a grab really light weight. You know, sometimes you don't need these big buff muscles to push a heavy weight a lot of times. Just take a light weight and push it for a minute straight and see how hard it gets, as you're seeing demonstrating right now. Okay, we've got about 10 seconds left. This is your last minute, okay? 
I don't care how many you get. I want to just keep pushing that bell for a minute. You got to rest in your shoulders. Rest. Three, two, one. Let's press. Ten seconds. Oh, keep fighting. <sighs> 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 Time, nice, really nice job. Okay, shake it out. That's all we're doing for the press of our head like that. Oh, nice. Get a sip of water, calm your mind, calm your body, shake it out, shake it out. Now we got our last set here, okay? I mentioned it before we started, it's called the shoulder matrix. And this one's fun. And this one's gonna be our last finisher here, okay? So I want you guys to go really light. Okay, first we're gonna start with 15 straight shoulder presses like this. Then we're gonna start with 15 flies. And then you're gonna go down lower and you're gonna do 15 flies this way, okay? We're working different short parts of the shoulder capsule here, okay? So the first ones are gonna look like this. Okay, second ones are standing pretty tall, you're gonna go out like this. Third one, we're gonna bend over low and go like this. This is called the shoulder matrix, guys. This one's awesome. And if I say something's awesome, it's fun. <laughs> we're gonna give ourselves about 20 more seconds. This was a 90 second rest between the round here, okay? We had a lot of work there, we're feeling those shoulders. Now we're gonna work in a different plane of motion here, okay? We got about 10 seconds here, we're gonna start doing that. So we're gonna do a front press on the delt here, okay? Three, two, one. I want 15 presses. Actually, this is called raises, excuse me. Nice. Now we're gonna go down like this, 15 wide. I like to always shake that a little bit before I do this last one. It's the last one here, right? So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, nice. Nice. All right. That's shoulder matrix number one. Woo, I'm feeling my shoulders today. Nice. Okay, we're gonna shake it out, rest a minute. Like I said, you may rest 60 seconds or 90 seconds. In that 60 seconds, most of your body recovers, 78% of it recovers their TPC. In that 90 seconds, almost 90% recovers. So it's really important that you get that little break between there, but keep an eye on it as well. Okay, nice work. Shake it out, shake it out. Got our clock is running here. Just two more guys and that's it for today, okay? My shoulders are already on fire. We got about 10 seconds here coming up. Three, two, one, let's work. Dumbbell raises. Front is your lateral. Good. 
Last one and shake it out. Whew. Did some good work here. All right, last one. Bend over here. Ah, nice. Oh. oh, those are awesomely terrible. Hey, it's having a hard time putting my arms over my head. It's a good sign. Okay, take this minute to relax, recover. Last one, okay? This is what I have for our neck and our shoulders today, guys. Should be feeling a nice burn. Take your time, recover. Need a sip of water in your recovery, that's always good. Keep your body hydrated, it's really important. All right, we got our last one on the shoulder matrix. I know you're just as happy to get these done as I am. Okay, we got 20 seconds here. Breathe, slow your mind, slow your body, calm your mind. All right. 10 seconds, we got our last one here. And you know we're not done yet. We're gonna do a little plank hold to tie everything back in, okay? Three, two, one, dumbbell front raises. It for those guys look at that 10 pounds that's all you need 10 pounds really kicks your butt sometimes okay now you know me every exercise we're going to tie everything back in in our core okay it's very important so today was focused on neck and shoulders but we're just going to do a minute plank hold what that plank hold is going to do is work and activate our shoulders our stabilizers and all our conditioning muscles in those that area okay so i'm going to give us another 30 seconds here, and we're gonna go do the minute big plank hold, okay? Slow everything down, calm your mind, calm your body. What I want you to do too is like draw on your navel here and, your, and you squeeze your glutes on your back if your lower back's bothering you at all. This will help activate that lower lumbar spine, the gluteus maximus, but also the psoas muscles as, and the piriformis muscle, the piriformis muscles, and that's gonna basically tighten up in there, and that's gonna help stabilize your back a lot, okay? So we're gonna go here in three, two, one, and we're in a good plank here. Last thing right here, guys, one minute. Guys and gals, I should say. Sorry, let me say guys. What I mean by drawing in that, that navel is bringing your navel in, and they squeeze my glutes here. It actually activates my lower back and my lower lumbar spine. there keep holding keep holding 10 seconds nice time time on that plank hold excellent guys very very nice job i appreciate you guys today stop the clock let's run off the clock I appreciate you guys coming out and checking me out today with the neck and shoulder exercises. It's nice to do this stuff in between today when you're sore or something else, like in your legs and your arms. It's nice to flush out and also stabilize and work in different areas, something you're not used to, right? You know, 
Your neck is a very important muscle in your body, especially if you're doing sports activities, basically anything in life in general. Uh, sometimes, but it's very easy to strain and overuse and overwork. So be very careful with your neck and working out your neck parts and stuff like that. Uh, listen to your body. Always stretch and recover afterwards. We have great recovery programs. Um, look at anything from stretching with Jamie, looking at self-defense with Greg. You know, other programs that he like, maybe we might complement this as well for you. Uh, one of the most important things you could probably check out is Chef Shelly. And she's got some really awesome recovery programs and, you know, and good diet program tips for you guys for healthy cooking and healthy living, you know. After a good workout, you want to make sure that you're feeling your body right so that you, you know, get the nice energy that you need in recovery for your body just to destabilize yourself, okay? I really appreciate you guys joining me today with Interactive Healing and Wellness.com. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you all so much. Have a wonderful day and have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to yourself and each other, okay? All right, thank you.